Teams in Laravel Vapor are a great way to organize projects per client or per topic. Once you get started with Vapor, Vapor creates automatically a personal team for you, which you can use if you want to set up your own personal projects. If you have a company, you probably don't want your employees to have access to your personal blog. Therefore, you can create a team to your company if you want. The team name probably would be something smarter than this, but we can put company team for now. Once you click on create, the next step will be a link to an AWS account. And this happens because probably your personal team will have a different AWS account from your company team. So let's click on link AWS account and actually link the credentials of my AWS account that belongs to the company I own. And now that I have attached an AWS account to my company team, I can simply go to my terminal and enter on the folder that owns my company.com website. And I want to add this project to my company team, but before I actually add the project, I need to make sure I am on the correct team. And to do that, I just simply type Vapor Team Current. And as you can see, currently we are within the personal team context. So meaning that if I would type Vapor Init, I would actually add this project to my personal team. To change teams or to change team context, the only thing you have to do is type Vapor Team Switch. Once you type this command, you can now select the team you wish to switch. And of course, if I now type Vapor Team Current, I will be on the context of my company team. So now I can type Vapor Init and safely have this project to my company team. Now that my project seems to be added successfully, I can add over to my Vapor dashboard and see that in my company team dashboard, uh, my company site is now part of the list of projects. But of course, my company may have multiple collaborators, so let's add them so they can work with this project as well. And we can do that by clicking on Team Settings, and then you can scroll down into the section Add Team Member. To add a team member, the first thing you need to do is provide the address of the team member. And keep in mind that the team member needs an existing Vapor account, but that Vapor account does not, do not need a Vapor subscription. Something else to keep in mind is that each team member might have different permissions. In this case, I just want to make sure that Dries do not create new projects, yet is able to create new environments if he wants to. You can get back into this list of permissions at any time if you want to. So let's create um, or let's add this team member by clicking on Add. And now that we have added a new team member, I can scroll down into the section Manage Team Members and see all the existing members of this team. And as I have said before, you can change the permissions of any team member at any time, and you can equally remove team members if you want to. Let's now connect ourselves into Dries is Vapor account using a different browser, which I already have done. And as you can see, Dries doesn't have any billing plan at this time. Yet, if he clicks here on the team selector, he can already use the company team, which I have created and added him as team member. 
And if I add over to my terminal and I connect myself to Dries, his uh, Vapor account on my terminal, I can now type Vapor Team List to see the teams I belong to. And of course, uh, Dries do not own the company team. That is, uh, the owner is Nuno Maduro, but of course he can also have his own personal account. But having projects in his personal account would require him to have a vapor subscription because he doesn't plan to use his personal account he doesn't need a vapor subscription to work on the team company team so if i type vapor team current for example i would probably be on uh, his personal team so let's type vapor team switch to switch to um, the company team, there we go. And because Dries doesn't have permissions to create projects, if I type Vapor in it, and I just uh, simply type some dummy information, I will see a message saying, you are not authorized to perform this action. Yet, if you remember correctly, we have added permissions to Dries to create an environment. Meaning that if I type, for example, vapor env and I just say something like Dries uh, environment, I'm able to create an environment uh, so Dries can use it for his own testing purposes. And of course, if we get back into our Vapor dashboard from Nuno Maduro, I can click on the dashboard of my team, see Dries Fins appearing on the list of team members. And if I click on my company site, I will see the environment Dries just have created appearing on a list of environments. And that's it about teams on Vapor.